All right, what's going on, social workers? Welcome to week two of the course. Hope that you found the first week to be informative, exciting, and you got some information that you can use throughout the future. Just an FYI, I'll be getting to your videos and your discussions as quickly as possible, and I'll be giving you some feedback on some observations that I have. And for those who have any questions about the feedback or anything at all, again, please don't hesitate to reach out. So shift gears here, let's go into week two where we're really gonna to start to dive into a few things that are incredibly important to social workers. Number one, critical thinking. So critical thinking is a term you've likely heard in academics, but critical thinking as it applies to social workers is unique because like I mentioned last week, the way that we think and feel and what we do is not an accident. I believe it's the systems that influenced us with our genetics, our experiences, our resources, all that stuff that creates how we think, what we do with our hands and our feet, what we say, how we feel, how we behave. Critical thinking in every system is incredibly important in social work. In an individual session, not only are you listening to stories and opening up space and providing guidance and, and intervening, you're also constantly analyzing, trying to connect the dots as to where did this behavior come from? What influenced this? What were they missing? What are they doing really well? What have they lost touch of? Really being able to connect the dots in real time is what will help you be an effective social worker. Additionally, you're gonna do that when you're making treatment plans. Some person might come in with a classification that says depression. But what does that actually mean? If depression is the recipe, you know, what are the ingredients that went into it? And what can we do to improve that? And everyone's very different, as you probably know. When we're looking at systems, what kind of resources do these people have? How are they influenced by their culture, their religion, their biology, their peers, their morals, their values? Really being able to analyze that stuff. Initially, critically thinking about the systems that they are in. If we're doing more macro systems work, how can we look at gaps in that are impacting other people? What are some of the strengths that are within that system that we can leverage? This is all about developing that stuff. That being said, I hope that as you're listening to me, you have that critical lens. Feel free to use that critical thinking towards some of the instruction that I'm providing. The other part of this, we're gonna look at culture. So this week, we're gonna have you select the population that you'll be doing your cultural competence assignment on. It's a little more down the road. And so I am gonna encourage you to identify a population that would be challenging for you. So some might be domestic violence. Some could be working with perpetrators of abuse. It could be a different a different population race entirely. Whatever that is, I encourage you to go into that because I want to use this as an opportunity to see where your biases are. Spoiler alert, we all have biases. And so the more that we can recognize our bias, the more we can become aware so they don't impact the work that we do. As we go into this work, we might notice the propensity to self-disclose or just share personal information about us. I will say that self-disclosure isn't all bad. In practice, on occasion, I will intentionally self-disclose as a means to motivate, to normalize, or just to build rapport. However, most of the time I choose not to. I will say that in a professional environment, if you are gonna self-disclose, just be intentional. Think about what is appropriate for this type of setting. As always, any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me or use the Ask the Instructor forum. That way, if you've got a question, maybe other people are thinking the same thing, we can all help each other out. So looking forward to seeing some more work and have a good week.